Well, it's another beautiful day, but I don't think it's going to last very long though. Looks a little bit angry, but I'm not working outside today. I am finishing off the rebirth for, for the most part anyway. So let's get this carpet off. Carpet's off. I'm still left with the adhesive. But I believe it's pronounced Shulan. Shulan. Can't really um, pronounce it, I don't think. But he recommended to use a scraper rather than the sanding attachment on the angle grinder. And hope that this works. make that work because the mess or oh, the dust from grinding the fiberglass it gets everywhere now obviously I was wearing goggles and the, the a face mask and ear defenders and a paper suit but still it got everywhere in the boat I really did not enjoy cleaning that up so I give the scraper a go but already it looks like it might be working so I've been using the scraper and it really does take the majority off but there's like an orange peel slightly lumpy I guess is the word and it's just what's in between so I can basically I can scrape the tops off and I get this sort of lattice structure left at the low spots where I can't quite get so I think it's gonna have to be a combination between scraping and then hopefully just a little bit of sanding to get rid of the low spots. Can you guess what I'm going to be doing this time that I didn't do last time? Masking off the rebirth because the fine dust as you can see there that just settles on everything got throughout the whole boat. I really I didn't think it would settle quite on everything as it did but I know there's going to be little cracks because I've got the lead coming through but for the most part this should stop all that fine particulate dust getting everywhere at least that's the plan so in the end it was just as quick to sand it all the adhesive off as it was to scrape it and then sand it because Trying to sand that lattice structure out was just a pain. It was just as quick to, to sand it all in one go. What you can see there is a repair. Now the inside looks fine, so I think it was just some sort of marine filler that they've used on the outside that doesn't let the light come through. There's the carpet that was on the, uh, on the top the ceiling that's the latch that holds the table there and all this trim I'm going to be taking that off and replacing that but first I need to get all the carpet off as you can see that's where they've put it I will eventually be putting closed cell foam there but for now I'll just need to take the carpet off just to see where I'm at with the deck fittings that I can't have access to just yet So with the wooden trim removed, I now had access to the carpet, which as I started to peel it away, I think you can see, it's saturated in the fiberglass dust that's just covered in it. So it was at this point I realised I was best waiting until all the sanding I had to do was done in the V-Birth before installing the new carpet because it just seemed pointless to put new carpet in only to have it contaminated straight away but luckily all I had left to do was the largest locker in the V-Bay which as you can imagine climbing inside while sanding all the adhesive off it wasn't a pleasant job but as I said with it being the last locker and the last bit of sanding left to do it made sense to, just to, to get it out the way so now I'm finally ready to stick the closed cell foam onto the hull. 
I was going to sand the top here, but I've checked it with the scraper, and everything that needs to come off will just scrape off. And I need to check the the deck fittings because that's I don't know what it's called, but I know it's for the anchor. So I think I'll replace that before adding closed cell foam to the top. Then what I'll do is I'll put blocks here, fiberglassed on, and then have a nice trim going round. I'll put blocks every so often for me to be able to screw into. So there's the first meter. And I've just washed that down with alcohol to get rid of all the little bits of fiberglass and I'll be doing that now I still don't know what I'm going to do with the chain locker I feel like it should be insulated because it's just cold for your feet or your head wherever you want to sleep but at the same time it might look a lot better if it was just veneered <laughs> 